Snake number 13 of Snakes of Luzerne County, Eastern Hognose. We can't disclose the location because they are very endangered species here in the county. It's a juvenile. Caught late in the year. We didn't think we were going to find one, but we uh, got one, and Rick is going to tell you about them. Well, finally, the snake series has completed, and it wasn't for the sake of us, uh, our efforts of finding this, but the cooperation of all the Times Leader followers. We received a call. We had a lot of tips, and finally, we got a call today, and there's a baby hognose snake, one of the rarest snakes in Luzerne County, if not the rarest, and one of the most secretive. So our quest has finalized, it's complete, and this is the baby hogdo snake. It's really cold out, and I'm really surprised that uh, this was out today. You can see how docile and lethargic it's acting. Uh, this snake, it's actually gray and black. However, when it reaches adulthood, uh, it's gonna either be possibly all dark phase, it could be a pumpkin orange, or it could be almost like a leaf, kind of a leaf of orange brown with bands on it. And the reason why they're called hogdo snakes is if you look at the nose, you can see how it's upturned and there's a hard plate at the tip of its nose and that's used for burrowing in the substrate, the sand, searching for its favorite food and one of its only food sources which is American toads. Uh, the hognose snake again, the eastern hognose snake has bands across, most, for the most part has bands across its back. It has a wide head so it, it's mistaken for a lot of uh, venomous snakes. It's mistaken for a rattlesnake, it's mistaken for a copperhead and it does two things when it's threatened. It either puffs up and acts like a cobra or an adder or it will play dead, and it's a great actor. It'll turn upside down and uh, play dead, and then it'll awaken after maybe 20 minutes. Very effective ways, and it, when it strikes at you, it hisses and makes noises, it never opens its mouth, so it's entirely harmless. And this snake, for those reasons, those actions that it does, two things happen. They're either collected, which is illegal, or they're killed, unfortunately, because of the act that they do that. They're acting like a vicious animal, which they're not. They're egg layers. They, the females produce anywhere from 10 to 60 eggs. And the ranges and distributions are in northeastern Pennsylvania, usually low-lying areas with a lot of sand, substrate, gravel, and once again, where their favorite food source, American toads, occur. Well, uh, we're going to wrap up this series, and it's been a great venture. And uh, thanks to the support of the Times leaders, the great following that we had, and our supporters, uh, this tip came through and we've completed the project, the Eastern Hognose Snake.